What do Barack Obama, Osama bin Laden, and Ryan Gosling have in common? They have excellent taste in cheap digital watches. The KCO digital watch is the most produced watch ever made. It can be found in dozens, if not hundreds of variants at this point, and can be found on the wrists of people in the most peaceful parts of the world and in the most war-torn parts of the world. Before I get into the short yet overwhelmingly positive review of this watch, I want to express my only complaint. This watch has four main features. It can tell you what time it is, it has a digital calendar, it has an alarm, and it has a stopwatch. It also has an alarm that you can turn on that will make the watch beep every time the hour goes from one to another. Now, I don't know when that would ever be useful. Maybe there's some super secret military application or something that I don't know about. I would never want that feature to be on. The buttons on the side are very cheap and you can accidentally brush them against your desk or against a book or something, and it will occasionally turn on that feature. It's really easy to shut off, but it is annoying having an alarm go off when you didn't mean to. Other than that, this watch is absolutely amazing. First of all, it is made out of a very cheap polymer silicon body, which means that it is gonna hold up incredibly well to some of the most brutal conditions I could ever put it through, whether that be snow or running into a lake or taking a shower or eating crap and falling into a tree. All of those things I have done with this watch and it has held up absolutely fine. Even though it's only advertised as water resistant, I can assure you it is as waterproof as you will ever need it to be. Short of dying, Diving, this thing's probably going to withstand every fishing trip and every lake trip you have planned for the summer. Its incredible backlight will allow you to keep track of time, even if you're stuck in the woods after being kidnapped by a family of Bigfoot and your cell phone has long died. The F91, and by extension the F105W's continued success, can be attributed to the original Casiotron. This watch made digital cheap timekeeping available to the masses. With the introduction of this watch, no Japanese corporate employee would ever be left with an excuse to be late again, and no Taliban would ever be left without a trigger for his bomb ever again. Oh, and to demonstrate why our friends in the Middle East love this watch, I put it in the receiver of an AK-47 and then proceeded to slam the bolt home against it. Yes, the watch face flew off, but I was able to snap it right back on and this watch continues to work just fine. Listen, there's a reason this video is only 3 minutes and 34 seconds long. It is because this watch is simple and rugged, which is exactly what I need. I'm a LARPer, I'm a backpacker, I'm a soon-to-be hunter. I don't need anything flashy. I just need a watch to tell me what time it is and not break when I inevitably drop it into a river. In my opinion, this could possibly be the best watch on the market when it comes to value and performance. But is it the best digital Casio watch? Well, that is a different question. This thing has tough competition. The rest of Casio's lineup. Which watch would you guys like me to review next? Let me know down in the comments. I would love to grab another one. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to support the channel, check out the, the affiliate links in the description below and head to my website to grab a sticker. Also, subscribe. Have a wonderful day.